Well, you guys got another video request here. This one is how to prevent a normal user from installing apps. So what we're going to do here is try and show you the best way to go about doing this. So first off, let's go to the run box and go net PL Wiz and push enter. And this is going to open up our user accounts right here. And you can see I only have one user account and it's the administrator account. Now, of course, this is a very powerful account. And if you want to restrict people, you're going to need to create a standard account. Now, why you want to create this, whether it's for your kids or whatever it may be, you can create this by signing in without a Microsoft account. And it says not recommended, but we're doing it because that's what we want to do. And we're going to be creating a local account. So we'll just call this one kid and we will know that this is our standard user account. OK, so but you can call them whatever you like. As long as you've got one administrator account and one standard user account, this is the best way to go about doing it. So next, you can see here we've got an administrator account and user account, which is a standard account. Let's quickly check here. So we go to group members and you can see this one is administrator. And of course, on the other one, we have just a standard user. So what we're going to be doing is setting up policies and also setting up permissions for this account to restrict it to stop it from running applications or certain applications or even downloading and installing applications so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up the bright tech account here and we need to give this a password that way we're enforcing uh, the standard account to put in a password if uh, you know they want to install software so let's go ahead and go to control panel here and we're just going to go to user accounts uh, and go into the user accounts section right here. And what we're going to do is quickly add in a password for the administrator account here. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to go into our manage account here. And we're going to create a password for this administrator account. I'm just going to call this something simple here, but you should have it uh, as a difficult password to stop people from guessing it. So I'm just going to quickly sign into this account here. So you can see we're already in the Brightech administrator account. So I'm just going to quickly sign into the kid account, which is going to be our standard user account. So let's go ahead and do that right here. I'm going to sign in. Now, obviously, we, once we sign in, it's going to need to build that account. So let's go ahead and do that. And it will take a bit of time, but just let it go through and create the account for this user and then we can configure this account to make it difficult for the person to uh, install applications so we'll just let this finish off right here and once it's done it's going to give us choose your privacy settings here I'm just going to quickly turn all this stuff off and accept this and we should be at the desktop there we go so first thing I want to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the start button here and click on uh, settings from here, we're going to go to apps, and this is probably the most easiest way of blocking applications. So go into advanced app settings and you'll see choose where to get apps. And at the moment, it's set to anywhere, but you need to change this to the Microsoft Store only, which is recommended. And what this will do is it will stop people from downloading and installing apps. And this setting right here is probably going to be the most easiest way and probably the only way that you'll probably need to be able to stop someone from installing apps. So you can see I'm a standard user here and it's asking for the administrator to make a change to that policy there or that setting. So I'm going to put my administrator account in. Now, if the person in hand wants to turn this back to another option so they can download and install software, they're not going to be able to because they won't know what the administrator password is. So let's go ahead and download some software off the internet and we'll just download this C cleaner and we'll go ahead and try to install it. And you'll see what will happen is it will block it. And it will basically say this app you're trying to install isn't a Microsoft verified app. And this is because we've changed the settings and it's not going to allow you to do anything. And that's probably the easiest way. And you can even go ahead and block access to the Microsoft store if you wanted to in some sort of policy or registry edit if you wanted to and it will stop them from doing anything like that now obviously you would have to obviously block usb flash drives because they can put programs on via that method or even portable apps and run them so if you wanted to block that you would have to do some more uh, tweaking but there you go when you go downloading chrome it's telling us 
how to protect your PC, we suggest you get Microsoft Verified App, and it's not going to let you install uh, Chrome even. So you can't do any of that sort of stuff via this method. So that's one way of going about doing it. Let's take a look at some other options that you might have to be able to block things. So what we're going to do is go into settings here and we're going to go into system and you can see we're running a Windows uh, 11 home version. And this restricts you quite a bit because it's not going to give you access to the group policy editor, which means you're going to have to find registry edits to do a lot of stuff. So I've switched over to a pro version here and we've got a, a kid account again. And you can see we're in a pro version. This will give you access to group policy editor and give you much more control over restrictions on applications and other things that you're trying to block. Now, of course, being a standard user as a, a kid account here or whatever account you're trying to create, you won't have access to group policy because you're restricted. You're only a standard user. So you're going to have to log into your administrator account to make all of the necessary changes to block uh, this account from doing what you want it to do. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll quickly uh, log into the uh, admin account. You can see it's not allowing you to make changes here. So once these changes are set into the group policy, the standard user is going to be forced to use them. It's not going to be able to do anything. So let me go ahead and switch users right here and we'll switch into the administrator account. So I'm just going to quickly put the password in here, push enter, and there we go. We're back at the desktop as the administrator. So now when we type GPO here, uh, we'll be able to open up the group policy editor and make some changes. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And the first things we're going to do here is we're going to make some changes to stop people uh, installing via command prompt or via Winget and things like that. That's quite simple. You would just block access to uh, PowerShell and also block access to uh, the uh, command prompt and things like that. So the first place we're going to go to is computer configuration, administrative templates, and Windows components. And from here, we're going to come all the way down uh, to the next place where we need to go, which is Windows installer. So the Windows installer is obviously an area where it's going to allow things to be installed onto the computer. So you're going to have to uh, stop that from doing exactly that. Otherwise, they're going to be able to install stuff. So you could use some more severe measures right here. And again, these are pretty uh, extreme. So turning off the Windows installer, and you can see right here, if we look at the information there, you can read all the information about what it actually does. So inside the Disable Windows Installer, if we enable this feature, you're going to have three options. So we've got Never. This option indicates the Windows Installer is fully enabled and users can install software. And then we have for non-managed apps only. This option permits users to install only those programs that the administrator uh, assigns to that computer. And the other one is the Always option. And this indicates that the Windows Installer is disabled. So you can choose what option you want. So if you want to go and configure it using for the non-managed applications only, you can tell it exactly what applications uh, can be installed and used and use that option. If you put it to always, it's going to block the Windows installer altogether. So we'll just put the always option right here for this video, but you can choose what options you want read through them. But if you obviously put the never option, it's going to allow people to install. So that is the options available. You've got the information on the right hand side there. You can read that information and it should tell you exactly what it does. So we're going to accept those options and click apply and OK. And that is now done. So what we're going to do next is we're going to move on to the next step. What you're going to need to do if you want to go a little bit further. So we're going to close this part off here and we're going to go to the user configuration now because we need to configure it for the user. So let's go down uh, to the administrative templates, open this one up right here, and we're going to go down to Windows Components, open up uh, Windows Components here, and then we need to look for the Windows Installer again because we need to configure this section here for the user account. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do here, let me just uh, pull this down so we can see uh, the Windows Installer. There it is right there. 
And what we need to do is we need to go to always install with elevated privileges on the right hand side. And the reason for this is because this setting is going to extend the elevated privileges to all programs. So let's go ahead and configure this by double clicking on the always install with elevated privileges. This will open up another box. And what we need to do here is there's some options available, which is not configured, e enabled and disabled. If you read the enabled part, it's going to basically tell you that if you enable this policy setting privileges are extended to all programs. These privileges are usually reserved for programs that have been assigned to the user. So you can enable that feature right there and apply that and OK. And that should uh, be set just nicely for this account. Now it's important that we set up uh, the user configuration which we've just done here and again it's important that we set the computer configuration uh, which we've already done previously for the Windows installer and once you've got that done you can apply an OK but leave that as enabled but again if you want to configure further you can do and you can tell the system to only allow certain applications. So what we're going to do here is apply this and OK and move on to the next step. So let's click OK here and what we'll do is we'll set this policy up. You need to make sure you do this for the user and also for the computer, which we've just done. So now that's done, what we need to do here now is we're going to go ahead and one, do one more setting here, which is don't run specified uh, Windows applications. And you can go and do that by going into the user configuration, administrative templates, and then go into system here. And again, what you need to do here is you can prevent access to registry editor tools. You can prevent access to the command prompt. But after you've done the don't run specified Windows applications. So what is this policy going to do? Well, this policy, if we enable this policy uh, setting, what's going to happen is the user cannot run programs that you add to a list or disallowed applications. So you can basically enable this policy and then you'll see a list of disallowed applications. Now we're not going to sit here and enable all of the applications because there's going to be a massive list. But what you can do is block the Windows installer. So what we need to do here is go into here and there's a couple of options you can do. You can type in the path for this file, which is msiexec.exe. And that is the actual file right there. We're going to click OK and that would then uh, set that file. Now, what you want to do is really put the path into Windows and System32. So let me quickly do that. It's on the C drive here. Go backslash and then go Windows. And we want to make sure we do backslash. And we're going to go System32 here. And we want to do uh, backslash and we want to do MSI EXE C dot EXE. And what that's going to do is that's going to block the um, Windows installer. And I'll show you that path in a second. So let me just quickly OK this. And this should cement that into stone. So let's go ahead and do that right there. And once that's done, I'll quickly show you that path there. And you'll be able to see what that's actually doing. So we do have, like I said, prevent access to command prompt. This will stop them from obviously being able to open command prompts and install stuff from there uh, again, or even opening up that and getting access to it, which is quite a powerful tool. Registry editor, I would block PowerShell and all that sort of stuff as well. But let me show you where that uh, file lives inside your C drive windows. And then we're going to come down to system 32 here. So let's go inside here and then go down to the actual file, which is this one right here, MSI. EXEC, and you can see when you hover over, it says Windows Installer Company, which is obviously to do with Microsoft and the Windows Installer. So we've just blocked that. So you're not going to be able to install applications because we've blocked it via group policy. And because when you sign into the user account, they're not going to have permission to do any of that anyway. Now, another area that you can take a look at inside here is inside computer configuration, Windows settings. And inside security settings, there's a couple of options in here. You've got app locker and you've also got software restriction policies inside here. But inside the application and software restriction policies, you can configure all this to your liking. But I would concentrate on the application 
uh, control policies because this gives you access to uh, app locker. Now, app locker is very powerful, and what you can do is block locations on the computer. So, what you would be doing here is creating a executable rule and blocking access to, for instance, uh, the programs folder directory, and that will stop any applications from being installed there. Now, you might be thinking, hold on a second, they could install it into another directory. But remember, you've already got all these other settings, so you probably don't need the app locker setting, but you can block that right down and stop any apps being installed by putting it onto action deny, select uh, the account that you want to block. For instance, you would do a search for the user account here, which would be kid or whatever it is you've called it, select that and then go through the motions and block that path to that directory, which is going to be your program's directory and it will stop uh, them from installing that so another option what you want to do is definitely block um, usb flash drives because they might be able to put uh, you know applications on there like portable applications and things like that and and allow them to get them onto the computer so what you want to do here is go to computer configuration administrative templates and then system and inside here what you would want to do is go to removable storage access now, if you've got a CD or DVD uh, drive, you want to block access to that to stop them from putting uh, disks in and copying data over. And the other one is definitely uh, removable disks like flash drives and things like that. Block all USB flash drives from gaining access uh, to that computer if you want to stop them from copying data over because they will just uh, copy over a portable application and be able to use that. So if you're trying to block to this extreme obviously this is going right down and blocking everything and it would be quite difficult for them to do what they want to do if you're blocking usb flash drives but again it's going to restrict the computer quite a bit so i would definitely do that if you're trying to block young ones from copying stuff over because they are pretty smart and they will find a workaround so this should obviously block Winget and all the other things as well that we've talked about earlier on so they can't download and install via that method either because you'd have blocked all of those as well another thing to do here is just for home users i just want to quickly show you here in case you don't have the pro version is in hkey current user software microsoft come down here a little bit you'll see the area that we've already configured through the group policy but if we go to windows here open this up and go to current uh, version here open this up right here and what we need to do is come down and when we come down here we're going to be looking for this area right here which is policies open that up go to explorer and then open this up one more time and go disallow run and you can see here we do have two of them which is uh, the two that we set up which is for the msi exec.exe and again, we've got two paths. You would add these in yourself if you're on a home version of Windows. And you can do that by just right clicking on that space and adding a new uh, string value and add the values like I showed you right here. Uh, that's what you would do. So you'd add in one and you would put um, MSI EXE uh, C dot EXE and then so on. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. There's probably a few other things you can do, but this video is going on quite a bit and that should help you block a lot of that stuff. I'm not sure why you want to do it, but hey, that's up to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below or join us on our Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.